The second ranked Delta State football team took on Arkansas Monticello October 6th at Parker Field McCool Stadium. It was a tough battle throughout most of the first half as the Statesman offense couldn't get into much of a rhythm due to an active bowl weevil front. It was due to a lot of stunting according to QB Micah Davis. We're slanting a lot and it kind of gave our offensive line of trouble. We talked about it on the sideline and we got better at it and picked it up later on in the game. When the Statesman found their groove though, it was smooth sailing. Davis was able to hit some big plays through the passing game. Hey. I mean, they're always around the ball. They're always looking for it, so I can always have my eyes up. I don't, I don't try to run first, so I just look for them downfield, and they somehow get open, and I just try to hit them. Defensively, the Statesmen were attacked through the air from the Bull Weevils, but towards the end of the first half, they settled down and took all the momentum, courtesy of senior cornerback Dominique Davenport. On that play, it was, uh, it was just uh, all across zero. And I was expecting some like a, some some kind of short route because we were sending a lot of pressure, so it had to be it had to come out fast. And I, I, as soon as I saw him uh, throw, uh, run a hitch route, he ran a little hitch, and uh, I just jumped it, and then and the rest of it, it was over after that. The pick six from Davenport gave the Statesman a 28-14 halftime lead, and it was much appreciated from the Delta State offense. The offensive line, that's that what they said was that was the easiest offense. I mean, they go out there on field goal and come back and sit down. I mean, it was a, it was a great uh, reaction on the play. He picked it, picked it off and took it for the score. With a road date at number one North Alabama on October 13th, Davenport cannot wait to clash with another national powerhouse. It's gonna be it's gonna be real big. Two powerhouses, uh, possibly number one and number two going against each other. It's gonna be a big crowd in uh, Florence. I, it's gonna be a great game. I, I expect a lot of people to come out. It's going to be a real good game. The state's in with a 34-20 win over Arkansas Malicello. We're joined with head coach Ron Roberts. All right, Coach Roberts, the offense, you know, Micah Davis did some things through the air and on the ground. Talk about Micah's performance tonight. Well, I thought he played really well. I thought in the first half, I thought our offense was, you know, it looked as impressive as it has all season long. Second half, we sputtered a little bit. Some penalties in crucial times didn't overcome. A couple turnovers there. Uh, but Micah's play has always been very consistent. We talked about it at halftime, but the middle of the field was really wide open. The state, you guys could get some passes, and Bill Franks had one that he took in the middle all the way outside, and Chance had some catches. Just talk about finding the, you know, in between the hashes and, you know, getting some big plays through the air. Yeah, well, I, you know, again, that's the whole part of it. And, you know, Coach Steven does a great job of calling plays and making sure we're matching up those, uh, you know, the situations and the, the routes and stuff versus the coverages, and uh, just took a great job of taking advantage of the things they gave them. A big play in this game was the touchback where Isaac Boyd and Brett Butler came in on a stop and forced a fumble down here on the goal line, and it was a touchback that really, that was the end of the game, you know, 28-14, but just talk about that play from Isaac Boyd and Brett Butler, a momentum changer. Yeah, momentum play, yeah, it was, momentum changer. It was a big play down there, because obviously do that, you were looking at an onside kick early and, you know, an opportunity for them to jump right back in this thing, and so it was a big play. There were several big opportunities and big plays uh, on the defense side of the ball, a couple stops down there, and obviously the, the interception for the touchdown, Dominique, and the in the first half, uh, so you know there's some things there, and obviously I'm real excited about somebody. You know, Boyd coming in here, young guy, and getting his first real snaps, coming in there and did an excellent job. Were you surprised at all that uh, Monticello had that? They were quick along the defensive line. I mean, you know, looking at their depth chart, you can see the guys weren't you know big, big 300 pounders, but they were quick, and that kind of disrupted your offense early on. They didn't know they did a lot of movement and some slanting early, and we just didn't we didn't adjust to it early and. Uh, uh, got a chance to talk about it at halftime and make the corrections, and you know, and the guys, other guys did a good job the second half of doing that. Well, coach, you got to be happy just coming out with a win. I know it's another grind that I win that you've talked about the last three weeks. That hey, we've got to be ready to play, or we're going to be in dog fights, and that was not an exception tonight. Well, well you know, the, obviously, there's a good football team. They, you know, they played well, and, and uh, you know, they're on. The, I think on the program's trying to come on, on the upswing, and, and they played with a lot of emotion tonight, coming off a high off of beating Badasta and. And they did some different things in the first half that we hadn't seen, and, and uh, but I thought uh, there, you know, our, our guys took advantage of, uh, you know, the opportunities they were given, and did a great job of, of staying to the game plan, and were very resilient going through the process.